Hey guys, welcome back to Life with Mrs B and welcome back to another episode of Foodie Friday. Today, you will have seen from the thumbnail, from the title, we are making lemon and raspberry muffins. These are so good. They're very simple. They're kind of healthy-ish. They've got lemon juice, raspberries, oats, not a whole lot of sugar kind of healthy i'm gonna go for kind of healthy i did get this recipe initially from a website called leannebakes.com i'll put that in the description box if you guys want to check it out my recipe has changed and kind of evolved from that one but that is where i got the original idea from and without further ado guys let's get started on making some yummy muffins so you're going to want to start off by grabbing yourself a really big bowl to put the dry ingredients in we've got one cup of rolled oats or regular oats followed by a one and a half cups of plain flour, followed by a one and a half teaspoons of baking powder. If you've got baking soda to hand, it works well with that as well, but I've got baking powder, so in it goes. Then you want to give those dry ingredients a really good mix. And then we're going to take this bowl, put it to the side, and we're going to work on our wet ingredients. I use a jug for this, but you could use whatever you've got if you want to use a bowl, feel free. And then you're going to take two large eggs and crack these in. Don't use medium eggs, they're just too small for this recipe. Make sure you get large ones and crack them on in. Now I'm using this lemon juice that comes from the fridge. If you've got fresh lemons, go ahead and use that. You're going to need the equivalent of two tablespoons of lemon juice. It doesn't taste overly lemony it just gives it like a nice fresh zing and then i'm using three quarters of a cup of regular white sugar now this recipe calls for half a cup of milk i use soy milk because that's what i've got we don't drink cow's milk or dairy milk so i've used soy milk and it's always worked out fine and then half a cup of vegetable oil Last but not least, you're going to need two teaspoons of vanilla extract. And then you just want to give everything in the jug a really, really good mix. It can take a minute to come together, but just keep going. It will come together eventually, trust me. Then you're going to bring back your dry ingredients and add in your wet mixture. Now, the secret to muffins, the secret to make them not heavy or stodgy, which you've maybe made them before and they've turned out like that, the secret is to not over mix them. So if you're making them with kids, don't let the kids like mix it for like 10 minutes. I know what kids are like, they wanna like mix and mix and mix. Don't let them do it because they don't turn out so good. So with this recipe, you almost want them to be like a little bit of flour left on show at this point, because we're gonna mix it again in a wee minute. So don't over mix it, top tip. Then you're going to need one cup of raspberries. I use frozen ones because that's what we've got. Use fresh if you want. I always have frozen ones in the freezer so I can really always make these. I've used mixed berries before with this so give it a try with different berries you've got. I know a lot of friends of mine had blackberries left over from summer and they've got them in their freezer like boxes and boxes of them so use blackberries if that's what you've got mixed berries blueberries whatever you want give it a try then you're going to take a 12 whole muffin tray that is a mouthful definitely use a muffin tray you don't want to use a cupcake tray they are different muffin trays are deeper and then you're going to line it with your muffin cases and just spread not spread but like dish the mixture out between all of the muffins They don't puff up too much, so you do want to use like all of the mixture between them. Don't be tempted to like only half fill them. Really use all the mixture. Then you're gonna to want to pop them in the oven for 15 to 20 minutes at 190 centigrade. And this is what they come out like. How good do they look? They are so delicious. I hope you enjoyed the video guys. As I said, they are super easy to make, delicious kind of healthy give them a try let me know what you think you've probably got most of the ingredients in your house already so give them a try comment below if comments are on if not you can pop on over to the community tab or leave me a picture a picture i say that all the time leave me a comment on a picture on instagram because i'll put up a picture of these muffins i think so thanks guys and i'll see you on monday with a brand new video bye